Season 14 has just begun in the Rock of Blade Point, and there are a ton of new changes that I'll be covering in separate videos because I want to start with something I've been waiting a very long time for. Out of all the new changes, the one that has me the most excited is the Valda rework. This video is all about optimizing Valda's capabilities, so if you're interested in playing the new Valda or if you want to know what she's capable of, make sure to watch until the end. Comment down below which of the new season additions you'd like to see a video on next, and let's get right into it. Valda's second skill has been deleted. Kind of. Valda's F1 stays true to how it used to be since she can still release the single long binding bubble, but now she also has the option to hold the input to charge gold focus and release the multi-bubble ability that used to be F2. This version of the skill is more versatile than ever before, allowing classic F1 water ball combo extensions, free neutral, and now it can stop gold weapon focus like when a teammate gets parried, alongside old F2's gold focus protection and large area control. Valda will be saying goodbye to her third ultimate after this update since it is actually getting fully deleted and not merged into any of her other ultimates. I think at this point in the game's life, there are still a few dead abilities left that no one really plays anymore as they're usually outclassed by the character's other abilities, and Valda's third ultimate was definitely one of those dead abilities. So we're sad to see it go, but this will make for a healthier new player experience as well as just remove a goofy ultimate that nobody really liked. So let's get into how to utilize Valda's new F ability. If you've seen the old Valda meta series, you may already be familiar with the concepts behind optimal F1 punishes, uses, combos, and all that good stuff. But for this video, we're going to keep it simple, and I'll go over the core points from the Valda meta series. Valda's F1 has a relatively low cooldown, especially when compared to most defensive abilities, so aggression is rewarded by design. When you hit an enemy with F1, the main thing to consider is, do they have a defensive F ability ready to use? If you don't know if they're using their character's defensive ability, assume that they have it on because most people usually do. So if we assume our enemy does have their defensive ability ready, we should not try to start a combo on them because obviously they'll just F out. The best punish here is a blue focus attack that does its damage in a single strike. I'll put all these attacks up on screen so I don't have to read them all right now, as well as the optimal soul jades to use on F1 whenever your enemy has their defensive ability ready. The enemy cannot use their defensive ability until after we've hit them once, so carrying one of these weapons at all time for their focus punish can be very beneficial. This is where aggression pays off, since your F1 cooldown starts the moment you launch it, meaning by the time you hit your enemy out of your bubble, your F1 could potentially have as little as 5 seconds left on cooldown, and if they use their defensive F, Valda's F will come off cooldown while the enemy still has 10 to 20 seconds of skill cooldown left. Using a defensive F after one of these optimal focus punish bubbles typically results in low value unless the spacing takes them around the corner or through a window. Watch the Valda after her initial attack and react to the follow-ups instead of panic effing and giving Valda an advantage. So what if the enemy doesn't have their defensive ability ready or maybe you already know that the enemy is not using their defensive ability? This is when we can get even more damage on F1 with a fully charged blue focus attack or we can start a combo if we think it's safe to do so without being interrupted. I like to keep my combos short and sweet. A grapple focus combo is usually just fine. The longer you're locked into a combo, the more time someone else has to come along and mess things up for you. After an F1, if there's enough space between you and the enemy, you can activate V2 and still start a combo. You can also combo into your ultimate with the charged version of F1, like in this example. Now that we've covered optimal punishes, let's look at extending combos with this ability. If you plan on extending with F1, you can utilize these easy, high damage setups that use each weapon's basic combo structure.
For the charged version of F1, you have to hold down the ability input for nearly a second, so some of the combos that were available with the old F2 before the rework won't be possible anymore, with the uncharged version now being more suitable for extending combos overall. Charging F1 can be interrupted by some gold ultimate abilities, but the skill doesn't go on cooldown when interrupted during charging. It can be useful against Tarka's Fire Punch or Zai's Lawnmower Attack, but still loses to Justina's Freeze Dash. Even Justina's V3 will freeze Valda during the charge. Charge has a very high priority against other characters' F skills and overpowers the stagger from any gold soul jade. You can partially charge F1 and still shoot the single water ball, which can be useful for catching an opponent who's watching you closely and expecting an instant release. Likewise, holding the ability while in the air lets you glide forward a pretty far distance. While this second ultimate got buffed slightly by adding a few extra seconds to the total duration, a much needed buff. All these changes together seem like they could be significant enough to convince players to pick her up again. Valda is still my most played character to date, and so far, I gotta say the buffs are feeling pretty nice. This covers most of what a Valda player should know about the new and improved F1. If you're still watching, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos on the other new character reworks. Hope you enjoyed this video, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one.